a confidence interval for a mean is we did a study, we found a sample mean, we think that the population mean is close. A confidence interval is about seeing just how close and how probably. Now, how do you know when to use Z and when to use T? It's a little subtle. If N is greater than 30, use Z. And you're done with that decision. If n is less than 30 or equal to 30, consider the standard deviation. If you know the true population standard deviation, if you know the true standard deviation, you can use Z. But if the sample standard deviation is all you have, you need to use T. Let's look at two similar but slightly different examples. I measured 18 kindergarten students. I found a mean height of 40 inches and a standard deviation of 2 inches. Where did this standard deviation come from? From these children just these children. In the wording of the question, this is a very subtle difference. To the person who did this experiment, the difference is not subtle at all. Here, the two inches came from me calculating the standard deviation on these 18 kids. Here, the two inches Standard deviation did not come from my sample. It's described in a completely different sentence than the sample mean. That's one clue. But this came maybe from a different study, maybe from a book. I am assuming that I know for sure what the standard deviation is. I have certainty here. Here I have uncertainty in the standard deviation. This is S. This is sigma, the population standard deviation. This one gets a T. This one gets a Z. Subtle, but important. I went out and weighed 16 bears. And let me tell you, weighing bears really difficult. That's why I could only get 16. You've got to trank them, and it takes an amazing amount of tranquilizer to knock out a bear. Like, you can't imagine it. So, but let's say I weighed 16 bears. I found a mean of 567 pounds and a standard deviation of 122 pounds.
make a 95% confidence interval for the true mean. So, is this going to be a Z or a T? Where does the standard deviation come from? That's what matters. Standard deviation of 122. It refers to these 16 bears. I'm not assuming the standard deviation of all bears. I don't know the standard deviation of all bears. I just know the standard deviation of the 16 bears that I found. I didn't actually weigh any bears, by the way. Wildlife people don't come and arrest me. So, we're going to use T. First step, get out your T table. So, n equals 16, so you're in row 15, 95% confidence interval. Your T, 2.131. T, standard deviation, divided by the square root of 16. Okay, you work that out, it's about 65. 65 what? Pounds. So, our true mean weight of bears is within 65 pounds of this number. The true mean weight of bears is, we believe, between 502 and 632 pounds. So, now we've seen how to find confidence intervals for a mean using two different methods, Z and T.